Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. In previous sessions, we learned about session management, work queues, and scheduler. In this session, we will learn about the active queues which is offering by Blue Prism. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Let me navigate to Control Room. There you will find the active queues. First of all, we'll see what is active queues. Active queues introduces an alternative mechanism for managing the sessions which work the queues, made possible by creating a closer association between work queues and sessions. In session management, sessions are started on resources which pull the work queue for cases to work. These sessions are started in control room manually or via a scheduler service which is running on a Blue Prism server instance. We have seen this in the previous sessions. Instead of creating sessions separately in the control room and then moving to the queue management page to see the results, Active Queues allows you to set a target number of resources which should be working the queue. Blue Prism uses the Active Queue configuration to determine how to achieve the target. Active work queues are only useful when running dozens of sessions for one process. Now, let me go to active queues. Over here, if you see, there's no queues configured for the work queues over here under the active queues. How can we go ahead and we can do that? Now, go to system tab. There you will find work queue. Under work queue, you will find work queues. If you see in our previous sessions, we have created these two customer queue as well as student marks, queue, marks queue. These are the two queues which we have been created. Now I'm going to select student marks queue, which are which we are working from the past sessions, right? Now under that, if you see over here, there's the active queue is the option, which is the checkbox which we are having. Now let me go ahead. Let me select this active queue. If you select this checkbox, there you will find this queue is going to be assigning to which process you can see this over here assigned process if you drop down that you can find all the default all the published processes over there you will see practice for calculation stage student process test alert stage these are all which are published in our studio or the process studio okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to select the student process for this process that have used this student marks queue and also I'm going to assign resource group. If you see over here by default, we are having default over here. I will show you how to create this one also as uh, this one also. But as of now that I'm going to park this now aside. Okay. Now I'm going to select, I'm going to apply the changes so that I'm going to save the changes. Now what kind of difference you will find it out in the control tab. Let me go to control tab. Over here, if you see, previously the student mark queue was there in the queue management. Now we will find the student mark queue under the active queues. Now let me go ahead and let me select that. Now if you see, the queues, as we said, we don't want, when we are going to assign in the session management, we don't want to go for the uh, queue management to check it which has been processed. If you see, these are all the processes which already happened in the previous sessions. Name is nothing but which is the queue that we are having and the status. This is the running or pending status or resume status. This is the target resources. This is nothing but the PC available pieces or their blue PISM available and are connected in the intranet or internet. And active session. This is nothing but how many sessions are there available. And you can see the available resources there. You know, as of now that we are having only one resource. On the target resource also, we can assign a number of resources also. Time remaining, if there is any student marks queues are pending, we can see that how many, how much time it is pending and also elapsed time. Over here, if you go for the work, these are the nothing but, these are all the items which has been working over here. As of now, it has been completed 90 and the pending is zero and the referred is 30. In the sense, you know, without going ahead and proceeding further, and the total number is 90 plus 30, it's 120, right? Now, what I'm going to do right now, if you see over here, I'm going to go to the session management, and I'm just dragging the available resources. You can see the student process, practice for calculation stage. What I'm going to do, and I'm just going to drag and drop the student process onto my resources. 
now you can see over here in you can see the pending status let me over here right let me go ahead let me start that one is active and one is pending now let me go ahead to students active queue active queues now you can see the time remaining over here is 005 seconds and it has been changed 94 worker queues and referred is 33 and total is 132 these are all the alerts which i am getting for the alerts for the student uh, you know for the student mocks queue which we are having these are all the alerts which i'm going to getting it okay now let me go back to my system tab over there if you see in the work queues that we are having one more option that is called assign resources group how can i go ahead and get this name over here okay now what I, we have to do we have to go to the resources go to management over there you can find the default right if you want to create a new one that what i'm going to do the resources i'm going to create a group over here that is a new group that i'm saying as dev group so that you will find the dev over there if you want to assign any uh, you know any resources over there just go ahead and drag on to the dev environment so that now the default goes to dev environment or the dev uh, dev resource okay this is the name which we have given right now go to again to the active work queues now what i'm going to do i'm going for the customer queue and i'm going to select active queues so i'm just giving the name as student process as of now over here if you see the assigned resource group then you can find two things assigned resource group which is dev or default you can select anyone based on your requirement you can go ahead and you can save the apply the changes i hope you understood the concept of active queues thank you for watching this video if you have any queries related to this topic please post them in the comment section